Hey, so what does a 591,000 power fleet executor lead with four Relic 8 pilots and this 460,000 power fleet six star executor have in common? And the answer is that I've beat them both three times and lost twice. And this video is just to share my third day experiences and thoughts um, about taking an executor with the rebel fleet now my fleet is pretty pimped out because a lot of people will cringe at the idea of taking relic uh, rebels up to relics but um, as most people with any experience this will point out that they can consistently win on offense against any fleet as they should uh, if you go back and watch um, return of the, or sorry a new hope you'll actually observe that the rebels don't just defeat or blow up the Death Star, they actually defeat and cause the Executrix to crash into the Death Star before they blow up the Death Star. The Rebels are supposed to beat the Death Star and Executrix. So if, if, uh, Execu Executor. So if Capital Games does come in and nerf fleets or buff Executor or put in another Rebel or Bounty Hunter ship that makes it a virtually unbeatable ship, I will contemplate leaving the game. I know that sounds kind of harsh, but that's just a major slap in the face to Canon. And I also don't appreciate the cast system that they're developing, whereby Galactic Legends are no longer beatable for the most part, unless you have a Galactic Legend, and where they're trying to now push a capital ship that, by their own words, how do you beat a seven star? Executor? Well, you get your own seven star executor. Who the hell likes mirror matches like that, right? That's a cast system and it doesn't work in any society and it just ruins a game and it actually breaks the very definition of what a game is. But hey, I digress. So let's talk about executor. With Rebels, you may be tempted when the match starts to try to hammer away on Razor Crest or one of the other ships. And I'm finding that that's the mistake. Every time I attack anything other than Houndstooth, I lose. So I think it's best when you open up to just initially, um, you know, imply your target lock with Biston. That's going to trigger turn, turn meter and taunt on Biggs. And then uh, just try to dip the double whammy off with Biggs, a special um, Hans Millennium Falcons basic. And then when home one gets his first turn, use the triple shot AOE to call two assists. If you're lucky, get a little RNG there. Then you're going to get the Hans Millennium Falcon. It's going to call another assist and hopefully even pop a relic eight bounty hunter uh, houndstooth bosk once bosk goes down it's uh, it's pretty smooth sailing at that point so um i've been able to hold off executor with no problems and i think ironically i'm one of the only people in my shard doing it so i think my shard is not killing me so that each day i can knock them back out of first place so that everyone can get their payout which that's another issue that i don't know that cg is really thinking about while they are trying to reward the whales and i get that you know give them the nice shiny toy to win what happens if other people can't beat them is that they, then the whales get locked into that first, second position, whatever, in their shard, and nobody else gets their payout rewards. So while they might be rewarding 3-4% of their player base, they are in essence crippling the other 96-97%. So for now, we can still beat it, but I'm really worried about where the future of the game's going and the future of ships in particular with recent you know, press statements from the CG. So anyway, Target Houndstooth, take it out, save Crescent uh, for last or the Mandalorian, and mop up how best you can. Good luck out there, and see you all around.